Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today to seek your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding, and for us to walk in your will and your ways and your statutes. And we ask all of these things, Lord, with your grace and your mercy covering us, and we we are grateful for that. And we say all of these things in the name of Jesus, my Savior and best friend. Amen and amen. Nehemiah 5. And there was a great cry of the people and of their wives against their brethren, the Jews. For there were, for there were that said, We, our sons and our daughters, are many. Therefore we take up corn for them, that we may eat and live. Some also there were that said, We have mortgaged our lands, vineyards, and houses, that we might buy corn because of the dearth. There were also that said, We have borrowed money for the king's tribute, and that upon our lands and vineyards. Yet now our flesh is as the flesh of our brethren, our children as the children, and lo, we bring into bondage our sons and our daughters to be servants, and some of our daughters are bought into bondage already. Neither is it in our power to redeem them, for other men have our lands and vineyards. And I was very angry when I heard their cry and these words. Then I consulted with myself, and I rebuked the nobles and the rulers, and said unto them, Ye exact usury, every one of his brother? And I set a great assembly against them. And I said unto them, We, after our ability, have redeemed our brethren, the Jews, which were sold unto the heathen. And will ye even sell your brethren? Or shall they be sold unto us? Then held they their peace, and found nothing to answer. Also I said, It is not good that ye do. Ought ye not walk in the fear of our God, because of the reproach of the heathen, our enemies? I likewise and my brethren and my servants might exact of them money and corn. I pay you. Let us leave off this usury. Restore, I pray you, to them, even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, their houses, and also the hundredth part of the money, and of the corn, the wine, the oil, that ye exact of them. Then said they, We will restore them and we will require nothing of them. So will we do as thou sayest. Then I called the priests and took an oath of them that they should do according to this promise. Also I shook my lap and said, So God shake out every man from his house and from his labor that performeth not this promise. Even thus be he shaken out and emptied. And all the congregation said, Amen, and praised the Lord. And the people did according to this promise. Moreover, from the time that I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah, from the twentieth year even unto the two and thirteenth year of Artaxerxes the king, that is, twelve years, I and my brethren have not eaten the bread of the governor. 
but the former governors that had been before me were chargeable unto the people and had taken them bread and wine beside forty shekels of silver yea even their servants bear rule over the people but so did not I because of the fear of God yea also I continued in the work of this wall neither bought we any land and all my servants were gathered thither unto the work moreover there were at my table an hundred and fifty of the Jews and rulers besides those that came unto us from among the heathen that are about us now that which was prepared for me daily was an ox and six choice sheep also fowls were prepared for me and one once in ten days store of all sorts of wine yet for all this required not I the bread of the governor because the bondage was heavy upon this people think upon me my God for good according to all that I have done for this people Heavenly Father we thank you for your precious word that you have placed upon our hearts Lord you see us and you know us nothing is hid from you Lord and you know what we needed to hear and the Holy Spirit is opening up the word to us and those that are listening individually and I thank you Lord I thank you for all that you do for my brothers and my sisters worldwide I pray for them I lift them up to you Lord Jesus that those that are in bonds those that are not in bonds I lift them up to you Lord and I ask that grace and mercy be placed upon them in equal measure so great that their cup runneth over and that they feel the peace and the joy of knowing the Lord Jesus Christ Heavenly Father I am so grateful for all the wonderful things that you are doing for all of my brothers and sisters worldwide thank you Lord and I say all of these things in the name of Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach my Lord my Savior Amen and Amen thank you for listening till next time have a wonderful wonderful day bye bye